Hi y'all and welcome to another chatty plan with me um, for the week of October 26th through November 1st, 2020. I cannot believe that we are entering November. I literally like, I feel like I blinked and like it was March and the pandemic happened and we're still in the pandemic, but it's almost November. Insanity. But anyway, so um, if you're new to my channel, first of all, welcome. Thanks for being here. Um, but I really wanted to just kind of briefly explain my planning process because as you can see, um, this is not a preset planner. It's not something that I bought. Um, it's just plain old um, paper. And then I create my own layouts. Um, and this I found was something that really helped me because I was getting really burnt out on, um, you know, using the same layout every week, having the same uh, kind of thing every week with a traditional planner. And I wanted to be able to create my own layouts because some weeks I like vertical, like this week I'm feeling vertical. Other weeks I want horizontal. Sometimes I want dashboard. And sometimes I want to just create just a completely unique type of layout that works for me for that week. So this is what I've got going on. Uh, dot grid is my preferred style of paper. Um, it just helps me like keep all the lines straight and it helps when I'm writing and everything. So um, as far as this, all that I've done obviously is draw the boxes and then I use these stickers for October. And these are from um, one of the books I'm going to be using today. And that is this cute little book from Recollections uh, from Michaels. And I got this um, on sale sometime last month and it was about $5. And I just thought it was so, just so freaking cute. It's very like, I don't know how you would describe it, like tattoo retro style like art and just, I don't know. I just really like it. Um, and so this was calling my name for this week. I wanted to use this, so I just went ahead and put October up there. I know technically November is gonna start on Sunday, but um, since it's mostly October, I wrote October. And so uh, the next thing I'm going to do is just write in the days of the week and the date um, on the boxes. And I was just trying to decide if I wanted to do um, you know, how I wanted to do that. And so I was going to do it before I started filming. I said, no, nah, I'll include you guys and, and uh, kind of see my process here. So recently, um, I was getting a little overwhelmed with the amount of loose sticker sheets and just like tiny little sticker books and things that I had. So I moved um, my most frequently used stickers into these two sticker organizers. And these are by Once More With Love. Um, one of my favorite brands that I actually found at Michael's and it's just a book of just sticker sheets and you can just take your stickers and kind of um, you know store them in here and it just helps me I really like to have everything in one place uh, my, my planner card and my drawers were getting kind of filled with just like a bunch of little books like this that are like halfway used up and little loose sheets and stuff so I kind of organize everything it may not look organized to you, but it makes sense in my brain. So that's what uh, that's what we've got going on here. So I kind of just wanted to flip through um, these and kind of see what stands out to me to use for this week. Um, and I may end up using stickers as well for the uh, days of the week and the dates, which is why I haven't gone in and written those in yet. I'm just not sure yet. Um, and so what I'm going to do is when I find some stickers I want to use, I'm going to use these pieces of reusable sticker paper from the honeybee shop um, and just pull them off and put them on here so they're all in one spot. Okay, so for this week, I'm really feeling, obviously, I said I was feeling this one, which is, um, it has a lot of like orange and gold uh, foil. I guess it's, I guess it's all orange. There's not really any gold, but that gold would go with this orange, at least I would say. Um, so very like black, orange, gray, um, I'm also feeling like I want to incorporate some purple in there because um, I feel like those are, I don't know, just more traditional like Halloween colors. So we're going to steer clear of like hollow and silver because we want to stick to kind of this. This is a really good one. Um, so I think I'll probably, 
I mean, I have to use that. It's Halloween will actually be um, on Saturday, so I can use this if I can get it off of here without ripping it. Sometimes these thinner um, matte stickers can be a little, a little tricky. And some of these, like this sticker is super old, so it doesn't stick down the best uh, on this paper. <laughs> it will stick on the, the dock grid just fine. That's probably, I might use a couple of these ghosts because I just think they're so cute. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Um, and thank you for, for hanging out with me. Um, I hope that you are doing well through this crazy year. Um, I've definitely been up and down and I know that something for me, uh, that I struggle with, and I'm sure many of you do as well, is, um, I hate when I'm feeling depressed and, you know, I know that other people have it so much worse than I do and it makes me feel like an idiot, you know, like, I have a job. My husband has a job. Like we're in a pandemic and we both have a stable income. Like I recognize how important that is, you know, and how, um, so many people don't have that. And so I hate when I'm feeling depressed and I feel like I can't say anything to anyone because it's like, what do you have to be depressed about? And I mean, if you know anything about mental health, you know that there there doesn't need to be a reason um, for you to be depressed. For me, it is a uh, chemical imbalance. And sometimes my brain says, everything sucks and you should be sad. Even though uh, it's not logical. So that's kind of what I've been, been dealing with. I really, mm, I really like that. I might use that in one of the corners. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to use it, but since it's a possibility, I'm going to take it out of here. But, um, yeah, so that's just something I've been dealing with. I've been feeling kind of, I don't know, just kind of down. And then I think about, you know, and like my therapist says, uh, you know, obviously other than just being depressed and having like a chemical imbalance and clinical depression, you also have, you know, this is a hard year. And I shared it on my, my Instagram story. I reshared it from someone and I cannot remember for the life of me. I'll find it um, and I'll put it in here. But there was this graphic that someone shared. Oh, I want to use, I want to use these. And it said, um, you're not working. I'm going to butcher this, but it said, <laughs> you're not working from home. You are in a pandemic being forced to, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna butcher it. I'm just gonna put it on the screen, but it really summed up how I'm feeling. And it, basically the gist is, you know, it, yes, I am very fortunate. I am very lucky to be working from home. I feel very blessed. Um, but on the other side of that, it's like my mental health has been really struggling because we are in a pandemic like yes I'm grateful to be working from home and it's awesome and I'm just I'm so unbelievably thankful but on the other side of that it's like but you just remember like you're working from home not just because you want to you know <laughs> you're working from home because you have to because we're in a pandemic like um, and I, I love working from home personally. I think, um, I get a lot more done because there's no interruptions. Um, I don't have kids at home, so obviously it's a little different. Um, my only interruption, I guess, would be my cat or when the mailman comes or something. And, <laughs> but, um, I mean, it's just, I don't know. It's just kind of, it's a struggle. Like, it's a struggle, um, to, remember like that your feelings are valid and it's okay to be feeling this way um you know and it, it's normal like we're in a pandemic of course you're you're going to be struggling 
So yeah, I think that's all I'm going to use from that book. Um, again, I'm primarily going to be using this book, but I want to take a look through a couple of these other things. Um, and I may not end up using all of them. I just like to put it, you know, literally put it on the table <laughs> just in case. This little orange coffee sticker. But yeah, that's kind of what I've been, that's what's been on my heart lately. Um, just, and I'm, I'm just grateful for our, our health, like not, you know, just not having the virus and not being sick is, is a, uh, a blessing, honestly. So yeah, it's, um, it's just crazy. Like to think about all this time that has passed and everything and it's insane. Okay. I think that's it random Mario and Luigi at the end. Okay. The only other thing I wanted to look through was this. Um, this is all like purple and I have used this like a lot recently. Um, and this is going to be primarily orange and black, but I, like I said, I did want to throw some purple in there. So I thought maybe I could use a couple things from here. God, these stickers are like, they're so beautiful. I just can't, I can't deal. I can't deal with these. And also there's, um, there's like hollow accents. So it won't work with this spread. Although that, that would, but I kind of want to save them to use them all together. Some of these little, little icons here I could use. This little game controller was calling my name. I mean, just look at these. Look at these cute little arrows. Look how tiny they are. Ugh, they're so cute. I mean, just unbelievable. Oh, that's what I thought about using these, but they obviously like they go so perfectly with these um, days of the week here. So I I don't I probably just wait and use them all together. Oh my god, look at these girls! I feel like okay, I feel like we gotta have a, a goth juice. I kind of want to use one of these girls. Oh, look at these. Jesus. Look at this little freaky. Oh, I don't even want to use them because they're, they're so perfect. I don't want to use them. Okay. So as far as writing in the days of the week, um, I am really running low on stickers for, which is a weird thing to say. I'm running low on stickers, but for, um, you know, dates and days of the week. I do have some number stickers um, and I have some letter stickers, but I think I really just want to hand write these in. Um, and I'm thinking I'm going to do like this. I think I want to use this, um, maybe this light gray mild liner and just do this. All right, and then I'm going to dig through my stash, I think, and get some, some numbers to put on here, because like I said, I have a lot of number stickers that I just need to use. Oh man, I guess I had the same idea last year. <laughs> I used them. And they only give me one sheet. That sucks. Oh well. Well, that's okay. We're going to use probably just the black ones. Maybe even these little tiny, look how many of these I have. Like, come on, I need to use these. Let's, let's use these. Okay, so it's, what, what is it? The 20, yeah, 26th. All 
I have been like, I don't want to use the word obsessed, but well, kind of obsessed. <laughs> um, I don't know if I was like living under a rock or like what was going on um, back in 2018, but I didn't hear about the um, Chris Watts case until the, the Netflix doc came out just recently. And I'm going to limit, um, it's the last time I'm going to say Chris Watts. I don't want to say his name anymore. He doesn't deserve it. From now on, I'm going to be talking about, or I'm going to be, you know, saying um, the murders of Shanann, Nico, Bella, and Celeste Watts. Um, I, I, let me just tell you guys, like, because I've been wanting to, like, talk to somebody about this and <laughs> I can't talk to anybody about it. Um, well, I've talked to my friend about it, but like not a lot of people um, don't want to hear about this, which is understandable, but um, God, look at this. This is, I might have to use a little white out because that's going to drive me nuts. Just, just over the tip of that there. So I don't know what was going on like with me and how I didn't hear about this, but, um, I saw the, you know, the Netflix doc and it's called, um, American Murderer, the Family Next Door, I believe is the name of it. And I, I saw that, that it was added to Netflix. And if you know, I am a huge, uh, fan of, murder documentaries specifically not i'm not so much into shows like law and order and um criminal minds and things um i i really am i like documentaries i'm just a documentary fan so when i saw it was added i said oh let me sit down and watch it it's another murder documentary you know and i feel like i've been kind of desensitized because i've watched so many of them let me tell you guys this one like I, like I said, I've watched a lot of murder documentaries and I watch forensic files every single night. I know it's, it's pretty weird, but I watch forensic files every night. I think forensic science is really fascinating. Um, and I like, you know, hearing about how they um, catch the criminals. Like I just, I find it really fascinating. I know a lot of other people do too. So it's not like super weird, but it is kind of weird. Um, so I watch a lot of shows like that and been kind of desensitized, I'd say, for the most part. But this American Murderer documentary, like, messed me up. Um, I have never, in all of these documentaries I've watched, I have never felt physically ill watching something like that. And I... You know, I was watching the entire thing. It's only like an hour and a half. It's a feature, you know. Um, God, these are so cute. Like, I can't. Um, but when they, there's a, a part in it where um, the murderer, uh, where he describes what he did to his family. And it destroyed me it made me I literally stood up and I thought I was gonna throw up I have never experienced that um or even come close but just hearing him describe it and how he just was so nonchalant it's not funny but he was just so like oh yeah this is what I did it it made me sick and so ever since I watched that, I've been going down the rabbit hole of trying to understand what in the world would cause someone to murder their entire family, including their unborn child. It just boggles my mind. And I know any sane person is going to say the same thing, that it doesn't make sense. These are so. Um, you know, how could somebody do that? And we're trying to rationalize it because we are normal. But the fact of the matter is you can't 
rationalize it because you can't get into that dude's head because he's insane. So I have just kind of like, I'm trying to like stop, you know, thinking like, oh my gosh, what, what could drive somebody to do that? Um, because you'll never be able to understand it. Carve a good time. Trick or treat, hocus pocus. I'm here for the booze. Love it. Um, yeah, it just, I don't know. Let, let me, let me know if you guys have watched it or, um, if you just know about the case, um, leave a comment below because I, oh, it just, it's fascinating in the worst way. Like, I, I just can't believe that someone can, could be that evil. Like, I hate to overuse that word and it's used a lot with him, but he's evil. I mean, there's no, mm. It's just, it's just disgusting. But anyway, um, so yeah, that's something else that's been on my mind a lot. And I've been watching a lot of like YouTube videos of people, um, analyzing his, um, behavior and his words and everything. And, um, I mean, obviously we know that he did it, so there's no like mystery, but it's still, um, it's still like we're all just trying to understand it and I think you just can't. So there's no point in even trying. But it definitely is insane. This orange foil is everything. Is that, is that a cutout? Ooh, that's cute. I love the way these are die cut. They're not just like a square. Um, that little guy. Oh, he's cute. Oh, Kim. Yeah, I'm feeling this. This was the, the kind of vibe I was going for. <laughs> Let's get smashed. That's so cute. Uh, so yeah, anyway, on to a lighter topic. Um, but yeah, I have been, um, been struggling a little bit with my mental health, but trying to um, just do things that make me feel better, such as this. Um, do things to distract me from, you know, what's actually going on in the world. I think it's very important to be informed and to know what's going on, but also to find the balance of not being oversaturated with the news because it, it can really... Uh, <laughs> really bum you out, um, to say the least. Like, if you're just constantly consuming news, it's, it's just, it's not good. Um, especially now. Just gonna kind of stick that off the edge because I've run out of room. Okay, so as far as washi, I have a few options I'm really excited about, but I already know one that I'm definitely using. All right, so this is what I pulled out as my potentials for this spread. These two are brand new washi that I just got um, from the Honey Bee Shop. I'm obsessed with both of them, and I'm planning on using them a lot in my MCR B60N, um, but I really want to use one, if not, eh, actually, you know what? I think I just changed my mind because it is hollow and that doesn't go with kind of the vibe I'm, I'm going for. Um, so I'm probably just going to stick to using these in my TN, but I just want to show you like, oh my God. But um, I definitely know that I'm going to use this. I was really feeling this um, spider web washi as well as this uh, really cute jack-o'-lantern one. That's a, an option. And then this one, I've had this for a long time and I just always like forget to use it. So I definitely want to incorporate that one. And then there's this one, which is also spider web, but it's white. I just think it's really cute. I'm kind of, I'm kind of feeling that one. Like maybe these together. 
and maybe even a little bit of this too. I think for this one, I want to like put a piece here at the top and then put a couple stickers over here. So I'm going to just kind of, it's just so cute. Oh, I got to get my washi powder. Oh, you know, when you get to that point where you're like, you know that you need a second washi cart. Did I just say washi cart? Planner cart? <laughs> oh, Lord. When you're getting to that point and then you're like, this is sad. No human should need two planner carts, but here we are. I can't find my washi cutter card thingy. You know what? Ain't nobody got time for that. I'm just gonna use a good old exacto knife. But yeah, um, I'm just feeling like I need a break. I, I'm sure that we're all feeling that way. And I also feel like whenever it is safe to travel again, and that's a whole other thing that I'm gonna get into in a second. Um, I feel like I'm gonna need like a like a three month vacation. <laughs> Because again, even though a lot of us are working from home, it's not a vacation. We're working at home. You know, people think like, oh, you're at home, you can do whatever you want. But, uh, no, that's not how it works. I really like that on the top there. I think I'm going to do it on this side as well. Um, but yeah, that's a whole other thing. And I read, I read an article from Forbes um, just yesterday about how... Um, the risk of contracting COVID-19 on an airplane is incredibly minimum or mi is incredibly minimal because um, if you have a mask on, obviously, um, because of the, you know, um, filtration systems on airplanes, you know, they're always like filtering the air out and um, and it's just said, if you wear your mask, it's, you know, and they, they like cited statistics of the very limited number of cases um, confirmed from, you know, on airplanes or whatever. And I don't know. I, I have been so cautious and see, this is where I would rather be safe than sorry. Okay. And I, my big thing is it's not about me. You know, um, I do not want to contract this virus and give it to someone that I care about who has a weakened immune system um, and is, you know, unable to fight it off like I likely would be able to. And I have been so cautious. I have not traveled um this entire year, I have not been on an airplane. I have not um, gone to visit anyone. I have seen one friend, um, my best friend James. I have seen, he's my husband and I's best friend. <laughs> I stole, I always joke, I'm like, I stole your best friend. He's my best friend now, but he's our best friend. And um, that's the only person that I have seen. Um, I'm sitting here thinking about it. I haven't thought about that. That's the only person I've seen since, um, since this all happened, who doesn't live with me. So, um, I've, I've just been really like careful and I'm not saying I regret that at all, but, um, it's getting to a point where I really miss my family who does not live, uh, anywhere near me. And I have some family that I need to fly um, in order to visit. And it's, um, it's very difficult to know what is the responsible thing to do. Because the worst part of this whole thing is that you could be totally asymptomatic. And then the whole, I mean, the whole thing, this is like the biggest just crap show of I, I mean I just can't even believe like so you go and you get your test and then they tell you well you know sometimes you could get a false negative <laughs> it's like okay then what's the point of like if you're telling me that the test isn't accurate then what's the freaking point of even taking it 
It's just unbelievable. You, just, you have to laugh because it's just so freaking unbelievable. Um, yeah. I'm not going to put washi there because I think I might use this section to uh, jot a couple things down. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, it just, it just freaking, like, blows my mind. Um, so it's like, how long am I supposed to wait to see my family? Because, you know, none of us are getting any younger and... It's just, I don't know. It's a complete disaster. But, you know, I I say, and I, I said this on my Instagram stories before, but like, I am not, if you have been traveling and what I am not judging you. As long as you're being safe and, you know, taking precautions or whatever, um, I'm not judging you for traveling you know that's your right and you can do whatever you want I'm just saying for me personally I haven't felt comfortable so I haven't and it's just getting to a point where it's like okay if they're saying that you know the risk is virtually non-existent for um catching it on an airplane then why am I not why am I doing this you know so that's something that's been very heavy on my heart recently I miss my family and my niece just had a birthday and it's just it's a mess my grandma just had a birthday I miss her too and it's um it's just I don't know and then don't even get me started about the election I do not even want to talk about it I yeah, I don't want to talk about it. I know who I'm voting for. I've known who I'm voting for. And that's all there is on that. And I'm going to cast my vote. Exercise my right. And that's all I'm going to say. I'm getting sick and tired of politics and debates and people arguing and how that, like, I just, I can't take it. That's why I limit my consumption on, you know, my news consumption as far as politics. Right? Like, I already know what I'm voting for. Watching the debate is not going to help me. <laughs> like, why am I going to watch the debate? I already know what I'm voting for. So, um, I am informed. I know each side's, um, you know, uh, stances. You know, I know where they stand and on issues, and that's it's that on that. But I don't know about y'all. I'm sick to death of hearing about it. All right, so sticker time. So as far as next week, my schedule is pretty normal. Um, the week after this week will not be normal because it's election week and I have off um, Tuesday through Sunday. I took time off. I'm very much looking forward to it because um, we were off for election day and then we we're off for um, something called return day, which is something we have here in Delaware, so. Anyway, so this will be a full work week, um, but I don't have really anything unusual going on. So I'm just going to kind of decorate to my heart's content here. Um, trying to decide where I want to put this beautiful big house. Why did that just remind me of Bear in the Big Blue House? Y'all remember that show? Bear in the Big Blue House was like iconic. Goodbye, goodbye, good friends, goodbye. Cause now it's time to go. Kind of want to layer this over Friday. I could put it in the box, but I don't know where I want this house. That's cute. <clears throat> so, Saturday is the actual day of Halloween. So, should probably put... We have this October 31st sticker. Um, it's hard because I can't, like... I guess I could cut it, but it looks like a, a stamp. So, and this is actually a little too big for the box. I could put it. 
I mean, I can even put it like down here or here. It doesn't have to be actually on Halloween. I mean, who cares? I think this would be cute. But yeah, uh, YouTube and, and planning and crafting and everything's been a really good escape throughout this entire thing. Um, I'm sure you guys can relate. You know, just sitting down and, you know, I don't, you know, some people say that, um, they are in like a planner funk because of this, because you can't plan much because you don't know what's going to happen and whatever. And I get that, but, uh, for me personally, and I guess if I wasn't working, it, I don't know if I'd have the same, uh, outlook, but, um, my planner has been keeping me sane throughout the entire, why can I like not put this on straight? Throughout the entire uh, quarantine and the pandemic and everything. Um, it's still not straight, but I just don't care. So yeah, my planner has been like my lifeline. Mm. This little guy is so cute. cute I was gonna cut it but I kind of like it just like that um I think I want this bat up here somewhere he's just way too cute but yeah my planner has definitely been um very important for me for my mental health throughout everything. I just realized I like have no room to write anything right there if I put that there. So I'm gonna put it You know what? We're gonna put it on the side. I'm I mean I, it's like you want to use it because it's October 31st, but I don't know if I do want to use it. <clears throat> Let's see. We've got our happy Halloween that's cute. I could put that on the top. <laughs> I love this so much. Hugh R. Next. Stop it. I think I want to put him actually in the box. Or maybe a little outside of the box here. It's just so cute. Oh, spooky. You know what? I'm going to actually put this like right above. I'm going to stop overthinking it and just freaking go for it. <laughs> I overthink my spread sometimes. And I'm like, just do it. Just do it. Listen to Shia LaBeouf. He knows what he's talking about. Um, yeah, I don't want spooky twice. That would be dumb. But it's a little too wide to fit there. A little too long for there. Yeah. I gotta get some more bat action. We need some more bats. You can never have enough bats. You know what I'm saying? So I know that I'm gonna have a meeting on Tuesday. I was thinking about maybe writing that on this one, but it's a little too long. Yeah, I don't know. It's a little too long. I don't think that's gonna work. This is so cute. Look at it. If I put the house all the way to the bottom, I should probably put the cat all the way to the bottom, right? Probably. But yeah. Um, 
still can't get over just like how crazy this year has been. It's kind of insane when you sit down and start thinking about it. But, you know, it's just uh, trying to get through it day by day. This is so freaking cute. I thought this would be cute on Friday. I don't drink very much, but if I were going to drink, it would probably be Friday night or Saturday, you know? So, you know, because the booze, you know. Okay. Yeah, that's so cute. Oh, and let's get smashed. I forgot about that. That one is going to go just to change it up here. Yeah, I've been, um, something else that has been, like, super helpful, um, and, like, good for me during quarantine and just this entire year, um, just to, like, stay sane, is, uh, watching YouTube, which makes sense, but, um, I don't know, just, like, I've really, I've watched more YouTube this year, I think, than I ever have in my life. Um, and, like, I get so excited when my favorite creators upload, and it's just, uh, I don't know. It's been, it's been good to, uh, have YouTube as a escape, and that's kind of what inspired me to create my own YouTube. Because I'm thinking to myself, like, okay, I have these creators that, like, when they upload, it literally, like, makes me so excited and happy. And, like, if if I could have, like, one person that got excited when I uploaded, that would be just awesome, you know? So. My, uh, some of my favorite YouTubers, I'd like to... My cat is going absolutely nuts right now. Um, some of my favorite YouTubers I'd like to give a shout out to. Um, if you hear my cat meowing, she is having her nightly playtime where she just runs around and meows for no reason. It's not weird at all. Um, you know, if you have a cat, you know that's typical cat behavior. Um... Yeah, some of my favorite YouTubers. Um, number one would probably be Smoky Glow. I love Hannah from Smoky Glow so much. And I just, I don't know, I just, I really love her channel. Um, I love her. Like, she could upload a video of her just, like, staring at the camera for 30 minutes, and I would like it and share it, like, this yeah yeah she's just she's great um she's a beauty youtuber and she also does commentary videos and she's just she's awesome go check her out if you're interested in um in beauty you know makeup in um commentary she does these really great videos on like she analyzes the careers of uh youtubers and kind of like the evolution of it's the series, so like the evolution of uh, Emma Chamberlain is one example. And like, I find myself watching these videos and I'm like, sometimes she'll do the evolution of so-and-so and I don't even know who the person is, but I still watch it and find it so interesting. So, um, yeah, it's, she's great. I love her. Um, I have a lot of, lot of YouTubers that I watch consistently. Um, obviously Queen's Fancy Plans, my friend Queen, I watch her, uh, planner videos every single time she uploads, I get excited. Um, let me think. Like I said, I watch a lot of YouTube, so I have to, like, think. Um, as far as my hobby of gaming, um, I have a lot of channels that I watch for news. Um, the number one, my favorite, is Spawn Wave, um, he does really great videos. Um, I, I watch 
his uh, series called News Wave every single day. Uh, Monday through Friday, he does a news show about tech and gaming and um, just, you know, I, I always know what's going on because of him. Um, and I know about any, you know, um, any like rumors and just everything because my man over at Spawn Wave, I believe his name's John, he uh, keeps me informed. So he is definitely one of my favorites. Um, Review Tech USA, Rich from Review Tech USA is one of my favorites. Um, I like um, <laughs> uh, Donkey, video game Donkey. Man, whenever I need a good laugh, Donkey has always got my back. That guy, just love that guy so much. Um, uh, Wood from Beat 'em Ups. He is awesome. Him and his wife Kim are awesome. Um, Scott the Waz. Oh my gosh, such a great. Oh, there's so many. There's so many. They're all great. Um, yeah, they're they're just all great. Robbie Christie. My God, how did I not say that already? I have been following Robbie Christie for quite some time and I oh my god guys like Christy and Zach like saved 2020 for me like when Christy announced that she was pregnant like I'm about to start crying I don't even know these people but that's the thing like you feel like you do and oh my gosh when Christy first of all let's back up Christy had a freaking eyeshadow palette collab this year with Pure Cosmetics. Not only does she have a collab, it's incredible. And I'm so happy to say that I had the palette and I use, I have been using it, I'm not even kidding, every single day. Like, I wish I bought two of them, I'm pissed. Um, but like, so that was incredible. And then she finds out after 15 years of struggling with infertility that she's pregnant. Oh my God. When that video went up, I've watched that video probably 10 times and it makes me freaking ball my eyes out. And when she tells Zach, <sighs> when she tells Zach and Zach's like, are you serious? It, I can't, it breaks my heart. It I just got chills. It breaks my freaking heart in a good way. Oh my gosh. It's so, I'm just so, I'm so happy for them. So... Yeah, that was my Raw Beauty Christie tangent, but I love her so much and Zach and they're going to have, they're going to be the best parents ever. And I'm so excited and um glad that she like, you know, shared that part of her life with us because I know that's like super personal and I just, I'm just so happy for her, like, and for Zach, for both of them, like. It's just freaking awesome. It's so great. But yeah, Robbie to Christie. <laughs> that was a tangent. Um, who else do I watch all the time? Though, I mean, I'd say those are pretty much like my regulars. Um, I'd have to say at the current moment, uh, Hannah from Smoky Glow is my favorite YouTuber. Like, I watch her the most and get so excited when she uploads. I, I also love um, Kathleen Lights and Samantha Ravendahl. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Um, D'Angelo Wallace is freaking awesome. Um, oh my gosh. Who am I forgetting? Bailey Sarian is really awesome. Oh my god, Jamie French. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I forgot about Jamie. Oh my God, Jamie, forgive me. Um, I love Jamie French so much. Uh, she's fantastic. Um, yeah, so, you know, Jamie French, you should go, uh, if you like movie reviews, um, and she, she does a lot of different content. I've been following her for a few years now, but 
She has a lot of different content, but um, pretty recently she has been doing a series. She was inspired by Bailey Sarian, actually, with her um, Murder, Mystery, and Makeup Monday. And she does um, movie makeup Mondays, and she reviews bad movies while she does her makeup. And it's so great. And she's so funny. And she does, like, um, like green screen stuff. And it's just, it's just awesome. She's just great. <laughs> I love her. Um, I just realized I don't have any purple on here, so if I put this on, it's going to look freaking dumb. So I'm going to just hold off on the Witch's Brew for now, and I'm not going to use that. I want to use these little arrows, but I don't really know how yet. I'm almost done. I don't want to get it too, uh, you know, cluttered or whatever, but... <sighs> Dude, I don't know if you can hear. Holy shit. My cat is like out. She is snoring. Dude, she is out. I can't believe she's like awake. Or, wow, that she hasn't woken up from me talking. She's, um, she is out like a light. Just put that there. This little pumpkin is so cute. I'm gonna use this as like a little bullet point. I think what I'm gonna do with these arrows is keep them on here and I'm gonna pop this into my planner so that when I actually write something in, I can use the arrows to point to something. I think, you know, that makes the most sense. Um, I love this little guy. I want to use him somewhere. But yeah, those are my favorite YouTubers um, as of late. And I have just really like like I said, like my consumption of YouTube content has gone up dramatically since uh, since being forced to stay home. And like I've said before, like I'm a homebody anyway, but there's something about when somebody tells you, yeah, you can't go anywhere that really makes you want to go somewhere, you know, uh, particularly when you're used to you know, traveling to go see your family every few months and then all of a sudden it's like yeah you can't do that so but yeah um I've been watching a lot of YouTube surprisingly I haven't played as many video games as I like as you would think um I kind of I don't know. I, I've really been struggling this year with this, like, feeling of being overwhelmed at the amount of games on my backlog and being like, I have so many games to catch up on. I don't even know where to start. And I'm, I'm just like, I'm overwhelmed and I, then I don't do anything. Um, and I'm sure that many of you can relate, whether it's with games or just anything in your life where you're like, oh my God, I have so much to do. And now I'm so behind that I'm overwhelmed and I'm just not going to do anything. It reminds me of like when I was in college and I would like procrastinate and get really behind on my assignments. And then I'd be like, oh my God, I'm so behind. I have so much to do. I'm just going to take a nap <laughs> because I'm just like overwhelmed. Um, that's kind of what it, what it's like. This sticker did not want to cut. So this is, uh. I do a little surgery on it here. But yeah, that's been, I don't know, it's been tough. Like, I feel like, like, I'm glad that all these games are coming out, but I'm also like, there's too many games. Like, there's just, there's too many good games to, uh, you know, I don't have the time and not even necessarily, like, not even necessarily the time. Like, right now I could be playing a game. 
it's not the time it's like the energy but that's not the right word either like I don't know what the word is but um I'm just like I get overwhelmed because I know that there's so many good games that I need to play that I just haven't speaking of games um the PlayStation 5 at, at as of the time of writing um comes out in just a few weeks as well as the Xbox Series X and I can't get over it I can't believe it I can't believe we're almost at next gen like what ha what happened like oh Matt McMuscles that's another YouTuber he has a series called what happened and it reminded me of that um yeah like what like I, I can't get over it we are um, very lucky that we were able to get a pre-order, but we are getting a PlayStation 5 at launch. And that is because um, you know, normally we would have waited because, you know, it's a lot of money and we could have waited till like Christmas or whatever. Um, but my hubby is turning 30. So it's a milestone birthday and that's what he wanted. And he is a huge fan of the um, the Souls games and, um, you know, the Demon Souls remake, he's like, when they announced that Demon Souls remake, I'm telling you guys, he, he like, <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen him so happy. He was so happy. And so, uh, he's really looking forward to playing that. So that's his birthday gift. Pretty nice gift, if I do say so myself. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's that's only a few weeks away, so it's pretty crazy. But that's definitely something to look forward to in this crazy year is, you know, next gen. Anybody who likes video games, it's uh, very exciting. And I've all that's another reason I've been putting off um, playing a lot of these games that I'm behind on. Like I need to play Ghost of Tsushima, and I've been really wanting to play it, but it's going to be enhanced on PS5, and since we're getting a PS5, I'd rather wait and play the enhanced version. Like, I feel like that just makes sense. And I also, I started my grounded playthrough of The Last of Us Part Two, and then I was like, wait, I should wait for PS5 because it's going to be, like, it's going to look better and perform better. So, yeah, I'm just kind of, like, in that waiting game. Honestly, I'm going to tell y'all, the only game I've been playing recently is Donkey Kong Country 2. I've just been on like a Donkey Kong Country kick. I'm not good <laughs> at those games, but I love them so much. So it takes me a while to get through some of the levels. Um, I'm on like World 4, I think. Um, but it's just it's just fun. And you know what? That's what I'm enjoying. And that's what I'm going to keep playing. And then when PS5 comes out, I'm going to play Last of Us Part 2 on Grounded like I started. I got to pick up Persona 5 Royal again. I started and then like abandoned it and... Um, I gotta go back to Judgment, and I, yeah, it's a lot. But, I think this is it for Before the Pen. Ta-da! Yeah, I'm pretty sure, uh, this is, this is the finished spread, and like I said, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna pop this into my planner so that I have these little, um, arrows and I also I think I'll grab a couple like small things to use as bullet points uh yeah like these little stars so those will be good little bullet points as things come up look at this tiny little sticker yeah That should be pretty good, at least for now. And that is the finished spread for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me for an hour. Um, if you have not yet, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps me out a ton. Uh, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking that bell so you can be notified next time I upload. Uh, follow me on Instagram. I post there pretty frequently. Uh, just at Planning with Cass. And in the meantime, Stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear your mask, register to vote, 
all that good stuff. And I will see you guys next time.